absolutely fucking joking. I'm tired as hell. I just woke up. What gets me up early is feeding my damn four cats, not squats. Saw you in the sun, the face came around. You can be my lover, the sky is up blue. I feel in screw. Good morning, good morning. So we just took a cold ass shower, woke me up. And now always in the morning I have my cup of tea, read a little of my book. I'm reading Atomic Habits currently. It is so good, it's my second time through. And then review my schedule, do a little meditation from the Calm app, and eat breakfast. You hold me down, set my soul on fire. All right, so we're gonna make the first meal of the day. I'm gonna make spinach and egg wraps and tortillas. But I wanted to remind you, after we just finished the morning routine, wellness is not an aesthetic. And before I started doing Sculpt You, I worked in a meat factory. My job started at 3 a.m. and my commute was an hour and a half there. And having a morning routine was pretty much basically impossible. Like I woke up, I had overnight oats in the fridge, I went to work, that was just what I did. So in the age of social media, it's hard to look at all these things, including this fucking YouTube video you're watching right now, and be like, damn, like I wish my morning routine looked this way, I wish it looked like this. You probably see all these day in the life videos, and you think that in order to become your best self, you have to do what these people are doing, or you have to do what you're watching. And again, wellness is not an aesthetic, it's what fits into your routine at that moment and serves you. So for example, when I was driving to work, at 2 a.m. in the morning, what I did was I listened to a podcast and then I did my meditation in my car on the way to work and that was a great way to reconnect with myself and it was the time I had. So recognize where the time is that you can just reconnect with yourself because we just gotta check in with ourselves during the day. Life is so go, go, go. We're thinking all these million things. We're taking care of people, doing all this stuff and just take the time and recognize that even if it's a little bit, even if it's while you're brushing your teeth and you're listening to a, your meditation because your meditation doesn't have to be sitting on the couch. I do it walking, I do it anywhere I am, just to breathe, take a deep breath and reconnect with yourself. That's your big reminder there. So my morning routine, as I just showed you, um, it's taken some time to figure out you know, what kind of serves me, what makes me feel energized, but I love just making sure I'm aligned with my schedule for the day and then I love just taking some time to read a book that empowers me and then my meditation is crucial for me and if I'm off it, <laughs> it's just not good. So prioritize yourself. But we're gonna make breakfast. So I'm gonna be making eggs with spinach and I love egg scrambles because it's a great way to hide your veggies. So I just put as many veggies as I can. It's great to start your morning with that. Listen. Your parents probably told you this. You probably heard it growing up that breakfast was the most important meal of the day, and it's true. So I know many of us just go straight to a coffee right when we wake up, and that's just gonna increase and spike our cortisol levels. So you wanna eat a breakfast within an hour of waking up. Why? It's because your liver can only store eight to 10 hours of glucose while you sleep to maintain stable blood sugar levels. So, as soon as you wake up and if you don't eat, you're just gonna spike your cortisol levels. So you wanna get that food in. So I try to keep my morning routine to less than that and get breakfast as soon as possible. I currently, I've been dairy free for a while. Y'all probably know why at this point. But my favorite dairy free cheese ever is Miyoko's. I like absolutely butchered this package because I, I honestly buy it and then I eat almost the whole thing like every day, but it's so good, the mozzarella one, and they have a smoked Gouda. So if you are dairy free, don't fear. There's some good choices out there for sure. All right, so we're, basically I am making, I'm just putting the egg spinach mixture, gonna mix with the cheese in there. And then I'm gonna put some, I haven't decided, sometimes I don't, I don't know if it's weird if you got, but I like to put a sauce in there, like a mayo or something. But I'm gonna do, a sauce in there, but I eat from our hormone health meal plan from the Sculpt U, a little balanced plate. We have a tortilla, eggs, veggies with the spinach. We have mozzarella for some fats and some blueberries. All right, after breakfast, we're ready to get this day started. So tons of emails, messages to get back to, lots of calls today. And the reason why you clicked on this video 
We're going to go through that. And then I'm training, filming, and then I have a volleyball game tonight. I told you guys I'm trying to meet new friends. So I signed up for an intramural volleyball team and we have our next game tonight. So I'm excited. All she really wants is fries in the mud pie, but the supermarket is closed, closed, closed. It's all jokes, good times like, when you come by. Like, Something like special I know. We'll show no, that on the no. page. One know? half of the time it's a gunfight. The other half are taking off clothes. <laughs> like, well, boom. And there will come a time when we're slowing down. We'll hold on to memories, memories. So my day today is honestly a little bit mundane because I'm always on Zoom or on calls or editing or filming with our team members, which we have 10 now, which is crazy. And so I typically go to the gym around five. Also, I still got Scooby Duffy do. Rocking on my car, shout out that challenge. I'm not taking, I honestly, what do you guys think? I kind of like it. I've also been playing with the idea if I want to do, what is it called when you Wrap. wrap your car. I want. I might want to wrap my car purple. What do we think? In the comments, let me know because I'm so attached to this orange color and they used to call it the hot Cheeto in college and my friends will call it the Cheeto. So I'm really attached to it. But anyway, we're about to hit this lift. Let's get it. Here's the thing. Social media makes you feel like you have to change every freaking part of yourself. Fuck it. That's what I say. I don't give a fuck. It's also, I'm not, if you really think I'm gonna be spending tons of money to change myself to look like everyone else, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. But seriously, I did not notice that I had, until I started making videos, I didn't notice that I had no lips. I didn't notice all these things or hip dips. I didn't even know what hip dips was and all of a sudden these things start happening. And I swear to God, social media, like consistently, we just, I feel like you go to the next insecurity. It's like a cycle of insecurities being on social media. You accept your thighs and then all of a sudden they hit you with a retargeting ad about retinol and aging. And then I'm here like 26, I'm like, fuck, oh my God, my wrinkles. And I have to buy all this retinol cream. And it's just consistently preying off, you know, every single thing that makes us human and makes living worthwhile. And I'm not about it. I'm done. I'm not feeding into it. So I've talked about this before, but my one of my biggest insecurities in my entire life has been my boobs because every single person in my family, my sister has G's. I don't know what happened. My mom has double D's, huge things going on. I remember in high school, everyone was like, what happened to her? I was so embarrassed, which is so sad, and just like felt like I wasn't attractive or sexy for a man because I didn't have large boobs. And I remember telling the guy I was dating in college, like, once I get my tits done, like, you'll be even more attracted to me and our relationship will be better, which is so sad. Or my roommates would make fun of me and I would be like, you're not gonna make fun of me when I get my boobs done, it'll all be better. And that's so horrible and so sad that I thought, you know, I would be, accepted or worthy and beautiful once I, you know, change and alter my body instead of recognizing like no one on this earth has tits like mine. And that's pretty cool. So embrace your titties, people. Embrace them. And I canceled, I had a breast consultation appointment and I canceled that bitch. I said, I'm going to take one year and I'm going to try to love my boobs. And, you know, we did the damn thing. Oh, Sam, suave, but I can't get me cold. I forgot my damn headphones, which is the worst thing to happen ever if you go to the gym. And I'm so depressed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I'm gonna power through with just... Trauma. <laughs> my past trauma is gonna get me through this fucking workout. Let's go. <laughs> you know what's worse than forgetting your headphones? Not having a workout plan. <laughs> So we're hitting the sculpty leg day. Um, we have quads and glutes today. RIP. I'm like, hey, what's up? Oh. I feel heavy as fuck. Alright, little hack for your hack squats, which is our next movement. So you're gonna take a resistance band, you're gonna tie it at the top of the machine. Wrap it around the, these sides. What it's gonna do is gonna provide constant tension of the entire movement, but also allow, because it's pulling this way, to alleviate your knees at the bottom, so you don't have that knee pain, so that's a big issue a lot of people running with hack squats. Everybody we just call them fans, though, and love with them. Could you imagine if I just was like, I actually really could sleep here. One eternity later. This is for my fucking sorority. You 
guys can go kick rocks. All right, so we just finished our workout. So I left this in the crock pot before I left, and all I did, I was I cut up some steak, put potatoes, onions, olive oil, garlic, and peppers. I left it in there for like four hours, and then it was really good and ready when I got home. So I just love easy crock pot meals. So if you've been watching my channel, you may be wondering what the hell I do. So I am the CEO of The Sculpt You, which is a $9 wellness and fitness and health app. So I came up with the idea for Sculpt You while I was working at the meat factory. I used to, legitimately, I was supposed to be <laughs> taking temperatures of the meat and writing it down. I would be writing down my ideas about Sculpt You on the line. And then in the bathroom at my job, every single break, or I would take longer bathroom breaks because I have IBS, so I'd be like, I have IBS. But I would really be writing down all my ideas and the vision of Sculpt You when I was working at the factory was I've always worked in food deserts. Every single one, I've worked in different, many different ones. And there was always such a lack of education and accessibility and affordability in the fitness and health space, especially in the nutrition space. And I was like, I'm gonna fucking bring this and I don't care what it takes, I'm gonna do it. And I got into a car accident, I was heavily injured, and I was out of work for three months, and they let me go, I couldn't, and I couldn't go back to work, so I moved back in with my parents, and then I launched Sculpt You for my parents' house, so special moment there. But every single thing in that freaking app has come from my heart and my soul and my vision from that day in that meat factory I wrote it, um, in charge of all of our team, employees, um, content creation, uh, all the ideas you see for our crazy challenges, and every single day we are consistently working and growing to see how we can build this thing. And we have freaking our PTs coming out this weekend. We have cardio launching, we have yoga launching. So that's what I do on a day to day, and why I'm so unbelievably passionate about it. And I cannot wait to keep bringing more to you guys. But the reason why you guys clicked on this video so if you guys have been there, I've always hated the dressing room. I fucking hated it because I can never find items that fit my thighs and my waist or you know I don't want to name any brands but every single legging I've bought is either ripped or it's super freaking pricey and it's just not the vibe and also I really struggle with keeping up with what's fashionable and etc 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 and I've just felt like this pressure of what the hell to wear and so I've wanted to come into the space and create the most affordable high quality active wear that I possibly can that makes you feel so unbelievably confident in the body that you were given. And also you guys know I'm a food science major so I'm so invested in products and product development and one of my biggest pet fucking peeves, it's one of my questions like Q&A, is what bothers me in the fitness industry and it's supplements supplements labeled with the word nutrition that don't truly support you and benefit you to the highest degree and food marketing those bastards will get you we are building with a registered dietitian sculpt you supplements and i can't fucking wait to just bring products that truly support you you can trust that are affordable and make sense and we have a meal plan system part of sculpt you and our registered dietitian will be bringing them into the meal plans to support your hormones to support your energy levels to support your protein intake whatever it may be and it's all in there for a reason and everything she's creating is for reasons she would recommend to her one-on-one -on -one clients that she works with so i'm excited to bring that because it's like bringing a one-on-one -on -one experience or going to a naturopath or going to a registered dietitian in a $9 membership to you as a consumer. So I'm freaking hyped. And you guys know I'm gonna go all in. That's why it's been taking so long. So I really appreciate, because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for some of this, but I want you to receive everything and be like, damn, she put her whole heart and pussy into this because I really am. And I just want you to feel happy and healthy. And I gotta hit this volleyball game, so I gotta finish this. Let's go. Thanks.